This is a DC reel. It makes a fun zing noise when you cast it, eliminates most chances of backlashes, and obviously costs a fortune. Now it just happens to be that my buddies Nick and Ethan also own DC reels. Then it hit me. What if we were to all fish together at one pond and had ourselves a DC battle? The biggest fish at the end of the day wins. I'll see you out on the water. Enjoy. Hold on, I'm sorry. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Catchco for sponsoring this video. If you don't know, Catchco is the owner of brands like Biospawn, 10,000 Fish, and Tightrope. And those are some of the lures that we are gonna be using in today's video. So, uh, man, I hate interrupting you guys. But uh, back onto the video. Okay, boys, you ready? Biggest fish wins. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, hey, let's all put our DC reels in. You know, it's kind of just like a starting initiation thing. Okay, ready? Let the official DC battle begin. Biggest fish wins. Let's see who can catch the first fish. It's gonna be interesting. I'm throwing a jig, Ethan's throwing a T-rig. Uh, Nick is throwing a frog. Oh yeah, your, your line is not gonna stay clean in here. Got this reel freshly spooled up last night and that's a fish. All right, well, I may not have caught the biggest fish of the day yet, but I did end up catching the first one. On the Sakoshi bug slash tightrope jig. There we go. See you, buddy. I'm not even gonna try and weigh that fish because he's not worth weighing. They smoked this thing. All I gave it was one little solid pop and then felt in there, ran with it, bam. Don't even need a crazy hook set. You just kind of lean into it, especially with these micro jigs, like the one I'm fishing, you don't need a super powerful hook set to be able to pin down the fish. You know, it's hard. We're all on this little island right here. So it's hard to, yeah. Okay. How's it feel? Nice. Oh, dang. You might have the biggest fish of the day already. Dang, bro. Oh, he's not bad. No, it's not. Water. Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, that, that's him gone. Good stuff though. Yeah, Ethan's got one. Too easy, boys. So Ethan's got a fish, Nick's got a fish. We all we all already have a fish on our island. It's not a boat. Guys, I know y'all are having fun, but we don't allow fishing. Oh really? Okay. There's signs that over there that have fishing zones. Is, is it new? Because they've always allowed fishing here. No, we don't allow fishing. All right. Okay, yeah, we understand. We'll get off. There yep. was at one time that was to be a fishing zone, but you had to pay to fish in that zone. But we don't even do that anymore. Gotcha. Huh. Oh, I haven't been here in a while, so I didn't know. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, thank you for letting us know. Yeah, you have a nice day. Oh, so we don't have a lot of fishing here. Alright, that's alright. We, we each got a fish a piece. But we're not gonna end the challenge here because I ain't losing to your one for your first fish. Hey, you know, hey, hey, this is content though. Get kicked off of a golf course. This is the first time I've been kicked off. So we got kicked out and did what any other logical angler would do. We got food and I'm talking really good food. And as pond hoppers, you already know we got more spots. This is gonna be interesting. I fished this location once during the winter time and uh, we didn't have any success because it was freezing cold. I don't blame the fish for not being interested. We're gonna walk. Oh, big catfish, big catfish, big catfish. Holy cow. Huge catfish. Let's see if he'll eat it. Catfish. See him, huh? I saw him and I was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, he'll probably eat something that these dirty catfish eat. Yeah! Hey, Nick caught one. It proves that there's bass in here. But uh, I, don't, I don't think you're gonna win the challenge with that, man. Two ounce bass, but hey, there you go. It is confirmed that there are bass in here. Get ready for this. So there's a lot of grass in this lake, which is great cover for the fish. And it's really clear water. So uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Wow, water is pretty high. I don't think it's supposed to be up here. There he is. There is one. Ah, spooky, spooked. I got one lunker log and let's see if they'll eat it. There he is. That's a good bass. Oh. He got it. Yep. There he is. 
I knew he was eat it. He was gonna eat it. I knew it. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, he's gone. <sighs> All right. Well, that was sick. He he. As soon as he saw it, he went in for it and uh, munched it. So uh, I'm currently tied for second. You still have the biggest fish. I saw him. I put it like five feet in front of him and then he started darting towards it. I'm like, oh, yep, there's a fish right there. Golly, I'm gonna get, have to get this disinfected when I get back. Oh yeah. No, this spot is just gonna be good. I know it, eat it. Look, I'm about to catch another fish. There he is. <laughs> it's all right. Quick release, I'm fine. I just wanted to mess with him. Dude, this lunker log is lasting me. It hasn't been torn up completely just yet. Ow! I know I'm, I know it stinks hearing me complain about this thing all day, but trust me, guys. Ooh, bluegill spines hurt, but bass spines, mmm. So it's doing very good. Fish somehow really like it. I don't, it's so stupid. Like bass are like, Bass are like, ooh, a stick. And then they're like, oh, I must eat it. But if they see like a crawl that looks like a bluegill or an actual crawl, they're like, nah, I don't want that. I guess it's cause like, this is like, just, it seems like it's no threat to a bass. So they'll just easily slurp it up. But I did this. Yeah. And then I started to like, I don't know. I don't think it's a problem. All right, let me I see. It a couple times. Okay. So we click it and then, Okay, I think what's happening is you are putting your thumb on here at the same time you're clicking this. Okay. So it's putting some pressure. You don't want to touch it while you're doing that and then it should be fine. Hey, ready? Yeah, there's one. All right, let's finally land a fish. Thank you. I think we're fine now still. Well, we're doing, we're doing by size. And yeah. yours was bigger, obviously. Mine was just a bit smaller. You know, I'm I'm an honest competitor. You know, we're not competing for money or any. Oh gosh, these guys are ridiculously slimy. Golly, they have no business being that slimy. Probably the happiest thing that has happened to me this afternoon. I found out I have more saw plastics. And I actually have a Gary Yamamoto plastic that some guy gave to me at the boat ramp one day. Ethan, if you want to use one, just let me know. All right, All right throw you one. Yoink. <laughs> there he is, a little stinky, hello. I think I may have figured something I chill, chill. I've never encountered bass as slimy as these guys. Holy cow. If I tossed close to the bank, they didn't really want it. They seemed a little skittish, but as soon as I toss out into open water, they run out and get it. So uh, that might be some useful info for future catches. Oh, 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 I have a fish. Come on. No, he was on there. He was on there. Yeah, the lunker log is getting it done. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. Woo! Well, the original hope was that this video was gonna be more of a size battle. If I had made it quantity, then I'd be in the lead, but I gotta obey my own rules, you know? Now the real question is, do I wanna drink Peach or lemon lime sparkling water beverage first? What do you think I should go with, guys? Peach. Peach? Peach. Peach? All right, let's do peach. Just had this explode all over the car, but this is actually not bad. It's nice and sweet, which I actually didn't think it would be. That would kind of be like that bitter taste that a LaCroix has, but DC battle went pretty well. Nick won with the biggest fish. I should have made the rules the most fish, then I would have won, but 
still uh, congrats Nick you don't win anything because I'm too broke to give you any prize um, and Ethan thanks for joining this challenge along with me we both got destroyed by Nick with his big fish but uh, he thinks that we were kicked out of that golf course so early like it's ne I've never been asked to leave there it's, I've always fished there had no problems but you know these things happen and I hope you guys had a fun time watching that. So thanks for watching, and as always, fish for the adventure.